today we're working on wedging the ball. So what is wedging the ball? Wedging the ball is where I use the inside or outside of either one of my feet to put the ball on the ground smoothly. So the ball is going to hit the ground for a split second, then my foot's going to come through and sweep it away and take it away on the ground. The big benefit of this is I'm not wasting any time with the ball in the air. If there's a defender on my back, I can get the ball under control on the ground right away and I'm off to the races. So you can see the way my foot is angled. Let's say I'm using my right foot. My right foot, the inside of my foot is angled towards the ground. So it's at about a 45 degree angle. So the way the ball hits the ground for a split second, it bounces up right into my foot and my foot's right there almost simultaneously, ready to sweep it away. I can do the same thing with the outside of my foot. So the outside of my foot is angled towards the ground and I can do the exact same thing, sweeping it away with the outside of my foot. An important point to remember here is that my ankle is locked and my toe is pointed out and up. So as you can see, my toe is pointed a little bit out and up, ankle locked, my toe is not pointed towards the ground because I want to hit the big surface area of the inside or outside of my foot. So what we're gonna do is three progressions with wedging. The first, I'll throw the ball out of my hands and I'll wedge it onto the ground. The second progression will be where I kick the ball up out of my, with my feet in the air, which will have to have a good touch up in the air, and then I'll wedge it on the ground. And the third one will be where I kick the ball up to my shoulder, pop it off my shoulder, and then have a wedge with that. So that one's going to take a little bit more control with the ball in the air before getting to the wedge. So for the younger kids, I would suggest just you know working purely on the wedge, getting the ball control on the ground. But as you have more experienced players, you can incorporate a little bit of juggling aspects to get a good touch before that, up in the air, to then have a good wedge. So now what I've done is I've set up some gates behind me here. So now we'll go to each gate, pop the ball up in the air with our feet, and then wedge it down through the gate.
So all the time I tell my players, just get in the driveway, get in the backyard, play with the ball, mess with the ball, just get comfortable, try new things. That's what we're gonna do incorporating a wedge now. What I'm gonna do is freestyle dribble with the ball, just lots of turns, lots of moves. If I'm going really hard, that's gonna spike my heart rate up real high. So what I'll do is I'll pick the ball up, juggle, give myself a little break, then at the end of the juggling, I'm gonna kick the ball high in the air, wedge it down. As soon as I wedge it and get it under control, I'm going right back into my hard dribbling for like about 10, 15 seconds, lots and lots of moves, trying new things, new turns. Then I'll juggle the ball again for a little bit, pop it high in the air, wedge it down. So I'm incorporating wedging with dribbling, and it's also a nice interval training because I'm getting my heart rate real high and then letting it drop down low, but all the while I'm working on my soccer skills. So you can see there, you'll definitely get fatigued at the end. I'm out of breath. If you're going dribbling real hard, you'll be out of breath. And then you gotta juggle to so concentrate on your touch. So it's a great workout to do.